everybody, it's Brian Nutter here from Summit Racing Equipment. And uh, what I do here at Summit Racing is product development. Uh, one of my main goals is, of course, being Summit Racing, we need to bring you parts that are of the highest quality and great value and made in America anytime we can do it. So one of the things we've been working on here this year in 2020 are the new Summit Pro Twin disc clutches. Uh, we've got three available currently. They're available for late model Mustang, uh, late model uh, Chevy, and uh, by late model, I'm basically talking anything LS1. So 98 to 2015 or so, you're gonna find that you know, the clutches are basically interchangeable in terms of spline count and such. So a little bit more about these clutches. As I said, they're American made. They include a billet steel flywheel. Uh, it, it's really nice. I, I don't have one of these things taken apart, but uh, we'll, sh we'll show you about uh, three different part numbers here in the comments. And if you click on those part numbers, you'll actually see uh, the, the various layers. So you're gonna see the flywheel, you're gonna see the floaters, you're gonna see the disc, you're gonna see the covers and such, but a very, very nice part. Uh, extremely well balanced and the other thing about it is they've got low moment of inertia. Now low moment of inertia doesn't mean it necessarily has to be really catchy, grabby, uh, hard to keep idle. Uh, those are all things that we wanted to avoid with these clutches. These are street clutches, I should say streetable, but like like say with the Chevy clutch, uh, it is the, the basic organic disc version is basically 700 foot pound capable and the big dude, the six puck uh, that I've got in my own Corvette here is thousand foot pound capable. Uh, why did I put the thousand foot pound capable clutch in mine? It's because here at Summit Racing, we wanna make sure that we have everything, all the bases covered with you. So we know the behavior of these clutches. I drive this thing around on the street all the time. Uh, I was driving this thing through a car wash here this morning. And at the very end of this car wash, we've got you know that, that dryer that goes on and you've got the counter there, 59. 36 seconds left, 23 seconds left, and I'm trying to get every penny out of it. Well, the entire time I'm slipping this thousand foot pound clutch. It slips, it doesn't, it's not breaking my leg, it's got stock pedal pressure, phenomenal clutch. Uh, we've taken it to the drag strip. The second time out on this clutch, it ran at 1056 with a 141 60 foot time. So it's just eminently capable of a lot of power. Um, why do we give them a torque rating? You know, clutches don't see horsepower. What they see is torque, and they don't see it in first or second gear. When they see it is actually in top gear. The engine is making maximum torque on one side, you've got maximum load, whether it be aero, acceleration, uh, the weight of the vehicle, all that happens in top gear. So if it's gonna slip, it's gonna slip in top gear. So you'll find that the organic disc version is 700 foot-pound capable and really nice clutch. Even the six puck that I put in mine, very slippable as well. I mean, I don't think I even had a 500 mile break in on it and it was just phenomenal. So uh, they are not a sprung disc. So it's, it's one of these things that springs in the, the disc itself as a point of failure. So you don't have to worry about those things popping out, flying out and being bad. So with that, we hope you check out the part numbers again, SUM-700-901, 902 and 903. And if you have any questions, please put them in the comments and we'll do our best to answer them for you.